Ever since I was born, I was dope. <laughs> Guys, uh, you start sharing an apartment uh, with temporary jobs. Yes. Mm -hmm. Finding a way to, to make your dream come true. When you see, when you look back, did you believe everything that's happening? <laughs> no. No. Not really. No, this is met when we were 12 years old in uh, Willard Junior High in Berkeley, California. And uh, we've been friends pretty much ever since. So to make a film together that's basically about our friendship and us being friends and, uh, is amazing. And it's very hard to make people laugh. Yes. And when you get paid for that, it's much Shocking. better, right? It's very easy to make people laugh. Mm -hmm. It just comes naturally to us. <laughs> Pop star. Yes. It's about ego. It's about everything that happened in the media. And uh -huh. a lot of people doesn't hear about it. Uh -huh. Who or what was your inspiration to this story? Is 32 people on his personal payroll. Sure, Connor surrounds himself with people who are agreeable. Well, it started because we make comedy songs, so we wanted to choose a format that would allow us to write songs and put the songs into the movie. And then we started looking at the sort of pop documentaries, popumentaries that have been coming out. Uh, so, and we watched all of them. We watched One Direction, we watched Katy Perry, we watched Bieber, we watched uh, J-Lo, Beyonce. Beyonce, yeah. So it's kind of all of them smushed together and then with our sort of sense of humor on top of that. Okay, um, how was the first time that you get paid, really good pay mm -hmm. for a project and you say, wow, we are making it finally? I was in a lot of credit card debt, and then we got, then we got Saturday Night Live, yeah. and I got to pay it all off in like two months, and that felt pretty good. Yeah. I hear Andy had a crush, a fantasy with a pop star when he was a teenager. When I was a teenager, that's true. Oh, if you, and? If yes. you, yeah, I mean, I think... Rated R? <laughs> <laughs> the fantasy? I was still pretty young, but yeah, my first crush was on Cyndi Lauper. And I still Cyndi Lauper? I still think she's incredible, yeah. yeah. I have two older sisters, so all of the music that I was influenced by when I was younger was what they were listening to. And Cyndi Lauper, beautiful. I love her. I was pretty, I was pretty into Paula Abdul. Yeah, same. I was going to say Paula Abdul yeah. as well. I was like, hot, Why? Hot, hot. Because the way she danced, you want, she danced for everything, you. Everything. Everything. <laughs> yeah, I like Paula Abdul. I was it was one of the moves, first concerts we ever went to looks. together. We went to a Paula Abdul concert mm -hmm. together, way up in the rafters. And even up from up in the rafters, we were like, she's hot. Who was, was Paula Abdul a fly girl, or was that? Uh, she I think have. she she was a Laker girl. Okay. No. Laker. Right? Yeah, she was a Laker girl. Yeah. Like J Lo was a fly girl. J Lo was a fly girl. We liked the fly girls too. We, yeah, we, fly we, girls we watched In whole... Living Color a lot. And mm -hmm. The fly girls were sort of the height of flyness. Janet Jackson in the nineties. Mm -hmm. Janet Jackson. Okay, sorry. See everyone out there. See pop star. Es un buen película. Es divertido. Es divertidísimo. Es gracioso, uh, mucho, mucho chistes uh, y canciones muy bien. Ace Ventura. This is my best friend, Maximus. He's like the closest thing I've ever had, like a little brother. If I had like a mute brother that was hella scaly. Connor's second album drops today. Out of four possible stars, Rolling Stone has given it the shit emoji. So, mixed, let's call it mixed reviews. Mona Lisa, the, original basic bitch. the record label's concerned about ticket sales. I heard he's getting into stage gimmicks now. Dude, what is this? That's your new head! Check this out. Mona Lisa, you're an overrated piece of shit. I feel that real showmanship has been lost in modern pop music. I'm trying a brand new magic trick. Yeah. Top of the world! Connor, don't worry about it. You were up there for like 10 seconds. It's a third of the way to Mars! <laughs> Connor, we've talked about this. 30 Seconds to Mars is the name of a band. It's not a fact. <laughs> Ash and I have been hanging out for about six months now. She's the total package. 
Ashley Wednesday. Are those real wolves? Yeah. Is that a seal? When you invited the press. <laughs> What's going on? Will you marry me? Yes. The wolves are loose! Are you okay? I've been in this situation before. I think I got these scars. From wolves? Now let's get out of here. Ah! We oh killed God. Seal! He's dead! He's dead! Seal is dead! Mona Lisa sucks. La -da 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 -da.